Hey, this is Malik Abdelkader, uh, electrical sales engineer here with Evolve MEP. And today I'm going to briefly go over uh, Evolve's conduit run data as well as its conduit run schedule. Uh, so to begin, we can go ahead and open our conduit run schedule. And here we have a bunch of different columns of information that can be kind of pushed and pulled into your conduit. Uh, this information can either be typed in manually or can be imported in from an Excel file. Uh, so some of the information that can be pushed and pulled is uh, our system information. You can assign a run ID, kind of start and finish, the conduit size, our conduit standard, uh, the wire fill ID, which kind of goes over what kind of wire we'll be filling. So, for example, this is a one-pole, three-wire aluminum 200-amp wire. Uh, the material, our insulation, voltage, and amperage. Brief wire description, as well as a conduit fill percentage. And we have our modeled length of conduit. We can add a makeup length. Then we also have the wire length with that's filling the conduit. In our options, we have options for assigning and adding colors to different systems. So, for example, for fire alarm, that system would be colored red, uh, as well as some air condition highlighting. So, if our run ID is not scheduled or our run ID is not assigned, it could be highlighted red and orange. Uh, and then this is where the conduit fill percentage can be adjusted. So, we can adjust our maximum fill percentage. So, the way it's set right now, if a conduit fill percentage of 40% or more is achieved, then this will kind of be highlighted red back in the conduit fill column of the conduit run schedule. Uh, in our wire schedule, we have our different wire specifications. Uh, so like I said earlier, this would be a one pole, three wire aluminum. And then we have different standards we can set whether we want EMT or flex, for example, as well as the insulation. So I'll go ahead and close this menu. And now using our assigned run ID, I can now take one of the run IDs from our conduit run schedule and actually assign it to the conduit so that the data associated with that run ID can be kind of pushed into the conduit. So I'll go ahead and select that and select the runs. So we'll select this first run. And then now this will show me all of the different run IDs that are available, but I can kind of filter just by what I've selected so that kind of only the relevant uh, run IDs will, will appear in the dropdown. So I'll select this FR10. Now that the conduit data has been associated to our conduit, if I come over here and select, I can even select this whole run. When we come over to our properties, we can see that the conduit run ID is now FR10, and this conduit run length is 9 feet and some change. Uh, and all the different information from our, project, from our project conduit run schedule has been now associated with that conduit. So our wire fill, uh, the system, the wire length, and the segment length, the conduit run type. Well, all this information has now been pushed into this conduit. And what's nice about this information is it is sticky to the conduit. So if there's any kind of changes made, so, you know, for example, if I were to edit the length of this, come back over here to our properties, you can see that the conduit run length has now automatically adjusted and it's showing that it's updated to about 11 feet. Uh, so if there's any changes made within your run or any kind of additions or other altercations happen to your run, you don't have to go in and change that data. It'll automatically update. And then what's nice about the Evolve Conduit data is we also have a continue run option, which allows us to essentially continue the run if there is some kind of break. So let's say there was a pull box here in this break of Conduit. We can now associate the run ID and the data to the other side of that break. So if we select our tool, select our source, and then we'll select where we want FR10 to go. So we'll select this side, and then we can press escape to finish our command. So now if we come to this side and select it, it's also FR10, 
and it will show us the total length, including both sides of this run before and after the break. So it's about 21 feet. But what's nice is it also breaks it up into segments. So this particular segment of the run is about 10 feet or so, but it still also maintains the total conduit run length. And that's how Evolve tackles conduit data using our conduit run schedule. Thank you for watching.